Thai bar girls have a scoring system on you. Did you know that? Hi everyone, I'm Simon. Thanks for coming along and having a chat. So today it's the 15th of March, Tuesday, Wednesday? Wednesday. I'm halfway through my Gold Cup week. And today, a one of the Thai vloggers, one of the bigger vloggers, put a video up where he um, suffered some pain from a, having a, a, some dealings with a Thai girl who I think works in a bar. And it sparked off uh, some thoughts in my head. So I've decided to do three vlogs and hopefully this will explain maybe my uh, understanding of the Thai girls and the bar scene. Maybe it will give you some insight over the three vlogs and maybe it will help that person give them just a touch of understanding from my experience. So today's vlog is going to be Thai bar girls have a scoring system on you. The second vlog will be when does a Thai girl become a real bar girl? And the third vlog will be Thai bar girls hidden secrets. That one will be controversial. It's going to be hard to make that one positive. But I'll do these three vlogs together and then I'll upload all three together so you don't get teased. So for you, my subscribers, they already know my history. For anyone coming new, I was a bar manager in Pattaya, Thailand for two years. I managed two bars in main street areas and quite a lot of girls work in there. So in that time, as a bar manager, I never touched any of the girls that worked in my bars. I never bought them presents, never bought them food. I gave them birthday cards and that was it. The Mamasan, who is like a supervisor in any bar that has girls, Mamasan is their manager. She interviews the girls, she employs the girls, she decides who works when. When she says jump, they jump. As a bar manager, you have nothing to do with the girls, but the girls, they maybe they assumed I owned the bars, some of them did, some of them didn't, but I was just a bar manager. They become, they became my friends. Um, in the bars you can lose girls every month, they'll move around, they get bored, and you get new girls. But some stuck with me for quite a long time in those uh, two years. and. Because they opened up to me and told me some of their family tips and secrets and some of their life and my tie started getting better because they were teaching me. I started understanding the bar scene more and more. They, I started learning, rapidly learning that there was lots of games going on under the hidden and what I couldn't work out was when customers come into the bar, and it's probably all the bars, one girl used to sort of get the choice of the guys. Now that, every month, bars usually give some money, salary to the girls, maybe free accommodation. Um, every month you pay the salaries to the girls. Now. It could be a bit of a couple of thousand baht for working in the bar and then all the bar fines that they get from customers that take them out of the bar a percentage goes to the girl and every time they get a lady drink um, they get say 20 baht for each lady drink and when it was payday the girls all used to come I used to watch and they always used to be there huddled together comparing their salaries and the girl that used to get the most bar fines, the most lady drinks, the most money, seemed to become like the top dog in the bar. And she then commanded that all the girls, when a, a, a foreigner, a foreign came into the bar, she would get first choice if she wanted because she was the, the queen of the bar. So I thought, that twigged after a while, okay, that's how that works. 
So I started speaking. The one girl every month was top in my bar. And after speaking to her for quite a few months, and then some of the other girls that were thereabouts, I started learning that the Thai girls in the bars had a scoring system. They had um, a wish list for their customers. And it amazed me. And it, it, I mean, it's logical. It's quite, I suppose, common sense. But how does it work? What number are you in that list in the girls in the bars? So, right at the bottom of the list, the person they see as not worth their time or they're not going to make money from is the guy that walks into the bar and speaks Thai. Why? So in their understanding and how they explain it to me, if a guy comes in as a foreigner and speaks Thai, the girl automatically knows that he has been in Thailand for a while or he's living in Thailand or he's got a Thai girlfriend the fact he speaks Thai he's been around the block and he knows the score he knows what's what so they automatically assume maybe that he's going to be a cheap Charlie he's not going to be the dream catch because he's clued up he's streetwise so if that's you, and you're walking down the street, and regularly walking down the same street, those girls will remember you, and they will know, right, we know who that is, not good, bottom of the list, bang, you're down there. Then, what did the girls look for? I was asking them, what are you looking for? What's the number one, top of the pile, that you as a Thai bar girl are dreaming of looking for and nearly all the girls wanted to get out of the bar they wanted a partner they wanted someone to take care of them they wanted someone with a bit of money that was going to maybe take them out of the country to another country raise their status level up give them a new living look after their family and be nice to them, take care of them, treat them properly. They're looking for that. But how do they spot that perfect partner? Now, one of my customers, very tall guy, had money, uh, American, worked for a big sugar company, came into my bar and the girls within seconds were all over him like a rash and in fact every bar walking down the road the girls were on him and when I talk to the girls about this they explain why if you walk down the street into a bar and you don't speak any Thai whatsoever maybe you speak one word in Saudi cup maybe you can't even say it properly but you can't speak Thai the girls immediately click 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 this guy could be here first time in Thailand. This guy doesn't know any Thai. Then, your appearance. If you've got a tailored shirt, a shirt with a collar, that you haven't bought in Thailand, and they can tell if that shirt you're wearing is made in Thailand. If you've had it tailored in Thailand, you've already been there two or three days, so you've dropped down to one and a half, number two maybe. But if you're wearing a shirt, short sleeved, but smart shirt, and shorts that are not necessarily tailored, but maybe a 30, 40 dollar shirt, uh, shorts, you know, 30 pound, 20 pound, but quite smart shorts. The girls will see the shirt, they'll, they're gonna see the shorts, or if you've got long trousers on, they're gonna see that and it's smart. They'll then look at your shoes. Now, if you've got flip-flops on, you're going down the list. If you've got socks and sandals on, we've all seen the guys, the sh smart shorts, smart shirt, 
socks and sandals, you're going up the list. Then the colour of your skin. If you're showing that you've caught the sun for a week, you know you're going brown, again, you've been in Thailand a week, they know, bang, you're not white, you're not, you know, you're not pale. I mean, like my wife, if you're half cast or, or dark skin, they'd be like, mm, not sure how long you've been here. If you're red, you're burnt, mm, you've only been here a couple of days. The skin colour, you're just going to drop down slightly, maybe to one and a half, number two, until they can assess out. And you come in the bar then, smart shirt, shorts, sandals, socks, shoes, some nice shoes, and you don't speak Thai, bang. It's a lottery win. It's the jackpot. They look, this person has never been to Thailand. They've no, no idea what's going on. The girl in the bar that's the number one girl is immediately going to be on to that, to you. Straight on you. You're a number one. Potentially the life-changing guy. And I saw this with this gentleman that came to my bar. And he would have been the perfect catch. Now, if you're that man, or you're not that man, but you want to try this experiment, you put a nice shirt, shorts and everything, you go down and don't speak Thai in the bar, you see what happens. You see if I'm right, and you will get a different reaction from your clothes and not speaking Thai in the bar. Totally different reaction. And I couldn't believe this from the girls I started to understand, right, that's what they're looking for. They're scoring people by just the clothes, their look. You're going down a soy, say in Patea. You're 200 meter soy with 50 bars. All the girls are clocking you coming down and they're looking at all the different guys. You're living there, you're an expat, you see this. You sit at the bars and watch. You can see which guys are coming down, which are new, never been to Thailand. And you, you, they just stand out a mile and the girls are looking for number ones little deviation sometimes I notice the girls in the bar would go a young boy would come down 18 to 24 maybe a backpacker maybe not but no shirt six pack good looking guy and the girls would interest would perk up and my the one girl in my bar the quick she grabbed one young guy once, and I said to her a couple of days after, why? Well, she, she's a woman. She does like sex. This young guy, great body, slim chance he's got money, maybe not, but she was going to have some fun. And that day, maybe things were quiet. Bang. She grabbed a young guy for fun. So there's a little bit of a twist on there. So... It is true, there is this scoring system. The girls are looking for somebody to take them away from the bar scene. Now the other thing, bar girls tend to be between 20 and 30 years old. In their eyes, when you get to 30, you're pretty much on the shelf and past it, unless you're stunning. So you start noticing the older girls, 30, 29, 30, up a bit, will step back in the bar and there will be more like service girls. Now they don't get bar find as much, but they can still make a living on just lady drinks. Every drink they're getting 20 baht, kick, 20 baht uh, salary for every lady drink. And it can add up, you know, five drinks a day, every day of the month, it, it adds up to a few thousand baht. And it also makes the bar look like there's more people in there. So, but those girls do come to the back of the bar more often. And you do find some, some guys prefer an older girl. Um, one tip I'll give you that as a bar manager, I hate it. Now, if you go into a bar and you don't want to keep buying lady drinks 80 baht, 100 baht at a time, and you're getting hassled for the way around it, but as a bar manager, you hate it. You buy one drink for the young lady, and then you get 50 baht or 100 baht. You slip it under the table and put it in the girl's hand, and just nod, no more bar drinks and lady drinks. She'll understand. 
she'll stay with you because you've just given her enough money for her food for the day, maybe the rent of her room, and she'll stay and chat with you. So there's one little tip. Hated it as a bar manager when that happened because you're not selling the drinks. Back to the scoring system. It does happen. These girls in the bars are business. You could even say, uh, it's quite negative, but like a, like a business machine. The real strong bar girls that have been in the scene a long time do become, or money uh, is pretty much the first thing they're looking for in their job. Now, when I do the third vlog, you'll understand if uh, it, it'll make itself clear about the, the money situation and bar girls and things. But there we go. So you are a number somewhere between 1 and 10 when you go into every bar. Which one are you? <laughs> Have a guess. Put the comments below. Am I right? Or is it just me misunderstanding everyone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. But it, it, it is, you know, I was a number nine. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely a number nine. Anyway, leave that one there. Vlog two and three coming up. Thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe, share. That'd be great if you could. And I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye for now.